Drew Mahalik is now 28 years old and living in Queens, but when he was in college in Pennsylvania, he fell and hit his head walking from class during an ice storm. I remember that I hadn't yet lifted myself from the ice when I was thinking, oh God, what's this going to cost me? Sure enough, despite having insurance, the hefty medical bill came, followed by calls and letters from debt collectors. $1,000 unexpected bill was not something I could afford. The heavy burden of both the debt on my financial and mental health was mounting. Then unexpectedly, Mahalik got a letter in the mail that his debt was paid off by the national nonprofit RIP Medical Debt. On Monday, Mayor Adams announced that the city has teamed up with RIP Medical Debt to help more people like Mahalik. We're investing $18 million over three years to forgive over $2 billion in medical debt for hundreds of thousands of New Yorkers. Healthcare is not a luxury, it's not a commodity, it is a right. So how does it work? The CEO of RIP Medical Debt says there's no application process. Instead, they get a list of people with unpaid debt from the hospitals. They then buy up that debt for pennies on the dollar. We will get our hands on the debt and then we will send letters out to individuals and let them know. How do they choose which debt to pay off? So we identify everyone that's 400% of poverty or below, or if the debt is 5% or more of their income, and then we relieve those debts. Receiving medical debt relief changed my life, and I'm one of the lucky ones.